Traditional curries were born out of poverty. They're now an important part of the menu worldwide. Today we're going to show you how to do a simple curry utilizing the short rib. Based on a Thai dish, beef yellow curry. Chef, the wonderful thing about this dish is that it's going to give you time back in your kitchen. You can put your short rib into the oven, cook slowly, and then carry on with other meats and plus. The great thing about this cut is that you can use it as a more high-end spec dish with the short rib, or you could use the same method with a chuck for a commercial catering site or bistro. First up, we've got our short rib. Let's liberally season it with some salt and a touch of oil. Then we're gonna brown it off in the pan. What this does, it gives maximum flavor to the dish. We've set our ribs aside. Now let's get onto the sauce. Pot onto the heat, nice high heat, in with the oil, closely followed by the onions, garlic, ginger, star anise, cinnamon, and yellow curry paste. We want to temper those ingredients and get real flavor in prior to adding the rest of the ingredients. Now in with the kaffir lime leaf that's going to bring out some beautiful fragrance to our curry. To balance the flavor, let's add in the beef stock, fish sauce, palm sugar, and coconut cream. We're going to bring this sauce to a nice simmer and get all the flavor out. Then we're gonna coat our short ribs, meat side down, bone side up, baking paper, aluminum foil, into the combi oven, 140 to 160 degrees, depending on your oven, for two and a half hours. What curry means to me is a multitude of cultures and wonderful flavors. The good thing about this Thai curry is that it's not too hot and can be served to a wide array of customers. For my curry here today, I'm gonna to serve it with steamed jasmine rice, stir-fried broccolini, fried onions, cashews, and to finish off, a stem of coriander.